Hi, bienvenidos. Me llamo Benjamin. I've been provided the opportunity to serve as a project manager for Wake County Public School System. Today, I present to you Green Magnet Elementary School. Green Elementary School sits on approximately 14 acres, but only 10 acres is buildable and usable. So in efforts to maximize the site, we decided to build an L-shaped structure and push it as close to Snelling Road and Six Forks Road as possible to help give it an urban presence. We also created a pedestrian plaza in front of the facility to act as dining and additional learning and teaching spaces. So we're here in the opening atrium of our building. We've got wide hallways, high ceilings, a beautiful, beautiful space here at the front of the building for us to highlight student work which is a huge, important factor in our project-based learning modules that our students make their work public. And this beautiful space that will greet all of our visitors here at Green is a perfect area for us to be able to do that. The original school facility lacked an identifiable entrance, so students and parents and visitors of the school were having trouble finding out where to enter the building. So part of our design features was to create a high volume space that would be easily recognizable to the community, for students, for teachers, and for visitors who were coming to the site. Because of its location, we wanted to push the building as close to Six Forks Road as possible to give it more of a presence within the community. In doing so, we created a knuckle on the building using the media center. Its higher volume provided more of an interest to the major thoroughfare of Six Forks Road. So we're here in the Media Center. This is a great spot. It's the heart of every school. And when we pan around, you'll notice that we have lots of wall space in our new Media Center. That's going to give us the opportunity to greatly expand our collection of texts. We're already in the process of expanding our cultural selections, as well as texts that support our foreign language instruction in Mandarin and in Spanish. We've also got several alcove areas where students can come together for creative, collaborative thinking and planning, again, in support of our use of project-based learning as a method to integrate our curriculum and engage students in critical thinking. The Media Center is located in the knuckle of the building. We combine the digital collaboration space and the Media Center into one opened area. This will help encourage collaboration and multimedia use in one space. So we're here in one of our new classroom spaces. This is a first grade classroom on our first grade hall. We've got high ceilings, we've got spacious classrooms that allow us to put students into flexible groups that are an appropriate size that allow them to get their work done, to have space, to move out, to discover and explore what they need to explore. The main level has your younger user population which is pre-K through second grade. When you enter the main entrance, you'll see an admin student service spaces, as well as the media center in the knuckle of the building. To the west, you have your dining and your main play spaces. The upper level will have third and fourth and fifth grade classrooms. Throughout the entire facility, you will have administration spaces and resource rooms for the teachers and faculty to use at their convenience. So we're here in the multi-purpose room cafeteria combination space of our new building. We're going to let you see some shots of the volume of the space. It is quite large. It's going to be a perfect flexible use space for collaboration, for our project-based learning units, and for our performances because we are all about developing the whole child here at Green and we have a beautiful, beautiful new space in which to do that. Green Magnet Elementary, get ready and get excited. We're opening August 2016.